Experts say the U.S. economy is doing better than it has in years, but for many Americans, that's not how it feels. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero gets to the bottom of the disconnect. As people navigate rising prices, viral social media posts have some asking, are we in a silent depression? But an expert I spoke with says it depends on who you ask. There will always be people who think things are okay and others who are not. It all depends on your circumstance. A rise in prices on food, rent, and bills has TikTokers posting viral videos about a silent depression. So if you look back to the Great Depression, the house was only three times the average salary. Now it is eight times the average salary. The car was 46% of the salary. The car today is 85% of the salary. We asked people here in South Florida, how do they feel about the state of the economy? Well, I guess it affects everybody at some point. Uh, definitely, you can see it when you go to the grocery store, you can see the, the difference in price. And I'm optimistic the economy will change you know, as we go because uh, if you look at the gas, uh, gas prices from the last year from now, uh, obviously it was higher, but now it's starting to come down. A financial professor at Florida International University tells me certain people are truly feeling the impact of things like inflation harder than others. The people who are really hurting right now are people who do not have homes and, um, you know, who do not own their own homes and as a result have to uh, rely on either renting or um, looking for a home and with interest rates being so high they are very depressed. The professor says right now our economy is seeing people pick up many streams of income to keep up their lifestyles. She says she also noticed a trend in holiday shopping sales and that's an indication of a possible recession coming next year. I'm not going to say it, it's, it's going to be easy 2024, but I think if people start taking control of their finances, recognizing that at some point they, they're going to have to repay um, and, and start minimizing those additional purchases from today. In Miami, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.